What is going on, guys? Quad MFT here. Your new favorite commentator. Not new, but you've always had me in your heart as a real commentator and your favorite. Bringing you your favorite dual commentary series with my... What? De Hello? Oh, hey, are you recording in here? Oh, it's good to see you. Hello, son. Okay. And 3, 2, 1, bam. Yeah, that's not a, uh, the best way to start off the gameplay. And you can tell in the beginning, I was lagging a little bit. Actually, I wasn't lagging. I was sending a text message. Yeah, well, you know, it's hard when you're so popular. You got to keep your Twitter followers happy. You got to keep your Facebook people happy. And, of course, the texting. Yeah. That comes first. Now, second to family. But, hey, hey you got, you're one and one now. That's good. It's not a bad start. It's like my kind of start. <laughs> <laughs> not the best gameplay, but it's entertaining because it is on small map in the game. Don't. Yeah, so do you think this one's better than Nuketown? You can only have Nuketown or, or, or Dome, what would you have? The, the colors are so awesome on Nuketown. Yeah. That really makes it more attractive. Man, there are those alleyways, too, that just M60 just feed black kill jacket. Feed. <laughs> Scavenger. So, yeah, I do miss Nuketown. I gotta go back to it. Play, play it yeah, and what's up with no Dome 24-7? Yeah, how come we don't get anything? I mean, it used to be that when, when at least when Xbox got maps... Um, you know, we get something, we get New Town 24-7, and we at least, you know, run up our, our levels. But, uh, no, we get nothing. Now Xbox... we just get, like, yay, infected, a game will work, and bring down my kill-to-death ratio. Yeah, and, and Xbox gives us, uh, you know, gets maps, and we get the fingers, man. I mean, they really, they're... Yeah. they're we get nothing, nothing. Yeah, what do we no? get, like, them, like, more than a month later? No, it, it's... Okay, well, are you ready for this one? I think Xbox is getting map, another map before we get any maps. Yeah, on the 21st, they're getting an Overwatch, a new awesome map that highly resembles High Rise, and I cannot wait to play it, but, you know... I get it probably in like 18 years or something like that. Yeah, they told they should have told us when they when they uh, sold us COD Elite that it was really only for Xbox. <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, it's come only on. for Xbox. Yeah, I got nothing out of my COD Elite, you know? Well, I, I, it's I, supposed to have 20 different, like, what's it called? Like 20 downloadable? different things. Downloadable content. Like, spec ops missions, maps. I think about 12 maps and about 8 spec ops missions, which is a ripoff. It should be 20 maps. Well, it, it, yeah, I'd, I'd settle for something. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing, nothing now, man. Now. Got a lead. Okay, well, congratulations. You get winter. Oh, <laughs> yes! Okay. And I think, so, yeah, I, I, I'm not really impressed with this. But, yeah. so, so these days, are you are you playing a lot of Infected, or do you care about the new game modes? Or is no, you I've think been you're kind playing of playing off Call of Duty. I need to play more, guys. I'm, I'm getting low on gameplay. Is it? But, you know, I'm, I'm getting back into it. Like, oh, just back come on. Into that was a triple. Yeah. I think the guy in Last Stand stopped you from getting that triple. I know. So, okay, so um, we went to the Super Bowl. Got, I got a couple uh, interesting things that happened at a normal Super Bowl party. Um, we were over there. Uh, you, were, you were doing a lot of basketball, and I was doing a lot of watching football, including the, yeah, the pretty uh, big party ads. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a fun. It was a fun party. Lots of people there, and uh, but you guys were still running outside, running around doing the, doing the basketball thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and apparently you ran into somebody who I don't know. I wouldn't. I would say he's like Michael Jackson anyway. But uh, so, so tell me what happened. So there's this guy who's known for going around my city. Uh, he's not really known, but people always say, "Watch out for uh, a male, a white male in a white van." And so he immediately with no windows. That's yeah, comforting. He immediately pulls up in a white car. And he's like. Hey, hey, kids! I was out playing basketball with a couple of my friends. You want some candy? Yeah, he's like, hey, can you can, 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 can you come come help me, help me? And he's like, and we're like, uh, hold on. And then he's like, well, well, wait. And he talked to my one of my friends, asking what his. Did mom's he ask name you to look was. for loose change in his pocket? <laughs> and uh, so Don't he was do like, that. He, uh, uh, yeah, uh, he was like stuttering the whole time. It was really weird. He couldn't even get like one word out. AC one thirty. Yeah, he couldn't even get like a word. And he out. was driving a car. Yeah, he was driving a car. He was like, "Hi, my 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 name." Wow. Oh, my name is Larry. He couldn't even talk. Like, he, and he wasn't stuttering, but he was like, "Hi, my name is Larry." Yeah. And it, it sounded was, like Kenneth Kniff, but <laughs> Kenneth Kniff from Connecticut. <laughs> and he was like, "Can you come over here and and help me?" And I was like, "Uh," and, he, and I was like, "Uh, no, let me go get uh my buddy's mom." And, and a gun. Yeah, she was the one to hold the whole party, so I thought, why not go get her? And uh, not my dad, because uh, you know she, she's tougher than my dad. I'm a so, better uh, shot than she is. <laughs> you get a little steady, and uh, <laughs> and so I go and get her. He's like, wait, 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 no, 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 don't, don't go get her. And I was like, I'm all right, I'm gonna go get her. <laughs> I got a puppy so, in my car. Yeah, <laughs> and so I went and got her, and uh, 
in that was it. And then he ended up coming inside and then preventing the Super Bowl party with us. Mom of the year, I guess, huh? He <laughs> yeah. likes the creepo inside. Yep. Yeah, you know, it was interesting. This was not in a bad neighborhood. This was just a normal, you know, suburbia type place. And uh, well, I, earlier in the day, well, I was out front with you, and uh, we ran into. Uh, I was walking in the front door, and there, here come these two girls, and they're they're in high heels, and it's you know it's probably 60 degrees outside, and uh, they're in high heels, but they were with bathing suit bottoms and um, like midriff t-shirts, it's like they're with their belly showing and. And uh, I'm walking up to the door, and, and, and the two guys that are with him that are kind of like steroid guys. You can are, easily tell. Yeah, well, they, 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 they were shorter men, but they were uh, quite bulky. They looked uncomfortable. Um, yeah, they looked <laughs> like they, had, they, were, they were all swollen up with muscles. So, um, so they uh, they said, hey, you know, uh, you want you guys, you guys having a Super Bowl party? And I'm like, yeah. I said, why don't you come over at uh, halftime, you know, let's start do some dancing. And I'm like, We'll do some dancing with the girls in the bikinis and the uh, heels. I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. And so as I walked in, <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, here's the owner of the house. He, you guys are neighbors, so uh, maybe you want to go see the girls dance at halftime. I mean, he, he didn't say bring your $1 bills, but... Uh, Make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but no, I think they were looking for a little uh, some tips. Yeah. So yeah, it was quite an interesting Super Bowl party, and that had nothing to do with the Super Bowl or the ads. They're but transvestites. I, I hope. Oh no, not. they're. they're well, I don't they're, care either they, way. What's I the could, word? What's the word? Transsexuals? No, oh, no, hermaphrodite. No. Hermaphrodites. You know, there I, you go. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I thought that uh, tonight I might be able to tell. It's it's been on my mind a lot recently, um, and I didn't think that we should tell this story because you know it's the internet and anything can happen. But yeah, Caleb has convinced me that our 80 year old lady neighbor um, does not listen to YouTube and will not find out uh, about this story. So, with much trepidation, I'm going to tell you something that uh, really kind of even makes you from off. Second so, AC 130. Jeez, you are tearing it up. Or no, that could be the first. No, it's a second. No, it's a second. It's a second. <laughs> Wow, can you shoot the helicopter with that? Didn't you just shoot down a, a, a spy plane with an AC-130 with an AC and it blew you up at the same time? <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. So anyway, um, all right, so this, I'm trying not to tell the story that I, that, I, that I am very, very nervous about telling, but I'll go ahead. Okay, so I um, just want to tell you, our neighbor, the 80-year-old lady, we'll just call her uh, Margaret, she uh, lives next door, and uh, she collects bunnies. Uh, not collects, but right? see, she collects show bunnies. She raises show bunnies. That's the thing. And so in the back, her backyard, she has, you know, those big floppy ears, big fluffy, big, I mean, there's, she has uh, lots of different. Skinless. Well, not skinless. Oh, hairless. No, not hairless. <laughs> well, skinless. I think it was only cats. But anyway, so she has a bunch of different, I don't know nothing about bunnies. But anyway, so, um, you know, every once in a while, our dog, we have a, uh, a dog, he'll, he'll hop over the fence and he'll, he'll uh, go go see the bunnies <laughs> and you not mind visiting them but it, it, it really it, it hurts it scares the bunnies and, and the lady's into showing the bunnies and so the bunnies get nervous and the bunnies the skin is not right and the, and the hair doesn't stay on and some of her bunnies were losing hair um, so she told us she was going to call the SPCA and have her dog taken away or kenneled or something like that um, because all the while she's trying to raise these show bunnies but our dog's tormenting her, her bunny and it's causing her to lose competition since she used to have great, uh, you know, showings in these, in these bunnies. I used to have a good bloodline, whatever that means. So anyway, so um, one day uh, our dog was in our backyard and he was holding a, a dead bunny. I don't know how it got it out of the cage or whatever, but all of a sudden he was in the yard and he had this bunny. And it was all, we obviously been playing with it. And uh, it was all messed up and dirty. And so he... Uh, we, we, we said, oh, man, she, she's going to definitely call the SPCA and get us get him put away. Well, um, so what we did was we washed the bunny and we dried the bunny. Um, and we put the bunny back in the cage. And we're like, maybe she won't notice. Maybe she's going to get a heart attack, whatever. Uh, but at least we'll save our dog. <laughs> he, won't, he won't go, go to the pound. And who knows what happens after that. So anyway, so um, we thought, no, this is perfect. A couple weeks went by, and then we kind of got away with it, I guess. But... Uh, we were taking out the. I was taking out the trash cans the other morning, and uh, she she says, "Hey, you know the weirdest thing." I said, "Yeah, what?" Well, you know, I had, I had this bunny, I had a medium prize bunny, and, and it died, and um, I buried it. And the weirdest thing is, uh, it was like three or four days later, 
um, that he showed up back in the cage, and I had buried that thing in my backyard. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's really weird. So I, there you go. Now I've heard. Now I've heard. I can just another day. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do hope you enjoy. And in the next episode... Don't will, tell my neighbor. Yeah, we will reveal what happened after that, because there's more to the story. So like if you enjoyed, and always, guys, remember, subscribe.